Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. I brought Christian with me. Say hello. Hello. Brought everyone a quick drink review. And it's somewhat of a spin on a set of reviews we've already taken care of. And that is, uh, we originally reviewed Coca-Cola Energy. I believe for Coca-Cola Classic Energy and Coca-Cola Cherry Energy. But Christina, you picked up some interesting items also available from Coca-Cola. And that is Coca-Cola with coffee. Yes, I'm not sure if it's new or not, but it's new in our area. So basically, it's classic Coca-Cola taste blended with luxurious coffee? Yeah. Okay, so we're trying, folks. Uh, we've split a 12-ounce serving, that is one can, of Coca-Cola with coffee. Uh, in this case, vanilla. Caramel. Oh! Caramel. Yes, vanilla is coming soon, people. Sorry, that was on me. <laughs> um, we were debating the whole time. We, we actually were. And by the way, folks, to Christina's point, before we, we check this out, we'll go to nutrition facts here in a second. She is correct. We did pick up Coca-Cola with coffee with uh, the blends for caramel, vanilla, and dark. Yes. So we have not tried dark yet. That's probably coming tomorrow morning. Probably, yes. Or Monday morning, depending. Uh, as we record, folks, it is a Saturday. So yes. let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and get to the nutritional facts first, then we'll give it a sip. I'm glad we're sitting down. Okay. Calories per can. 70 calories. That's not bad compared to a standard Coca-Cola. Sodium, 40 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Total carb, 18 grams. Total sugar, 18 grams. Gotcha. Zero protein. Gotcha. So, okay. So this is not, I guess, promoted as an energy drink or an energy drink alternative. Um, I think a standard Coca-Cola product has over 120 to 140 calories, I think. Yes. But don't, don't quote me, folks. So I guess it's low calorie by comparison, <laughs> I would think. But um, let's go ahead and check this out. I mean, given it a sniff, you can definitely smell the coffee. You can, but you can also smell that sugar, too, though. You exactly. Have that, that syrupy smell to it. So it's like, mm. it's coffee meets sugar. It's, would you recommend it for the fruit free drinkers? Not quite sure. Did you take a sip yet? I was just about ready Go to. Go ahead, because I just took a sip. So let me take another sip. Mm. I can taste the caramel. I can taste the coffee. And you can definitely taste the sugar. Yeah. And <laughs> light bubble, light, light carbonation. So folks, Christina's right. You do taste the caramel in this. You also, it tastes to me like a Diet Coke. Yeah. If someone poured like a caramel syrup in a Diet Coke. I can't say it's bad. I think it's. I think it would be interesting, but I think Coca Cola also put out another product years ago, called Coca Cola Black, B L A K. That is, um, and I think that was supposed to be a coffee infused Coke product, um, but like New Coke, folks, if you remember the '80s, <laughs> this is is interesting. I'll, I'll just put it that way. I can't say I like or don't like it. I'd probably give it a three star snob rating. Yeah, three, three and a half. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I like how you can taste more of the different flavors in it. Right. It, it, in a way, you know, in the aftertaste too, just now that I sit here and kind of feel it on the palate, it tastes almost like um, a, uh, how do I put this, a caramel cappuccino, something like yes. that in the aftertaste. But you taste Coca Cola in the foretaste. I will, I will, I, I will, I, how do I put this? I'll word it this way. Folks, please go check out the Coca-Cola Energy Reviews also, um, wherever you enjoy the video content from the Frugal Snobs, especially on YouTube. Um, but if you compare this to the Coca-Cola Energy options, I would prefer this more. Exactly. Over Coca-Cola Energy. It's um, less sweet, more savory kind of... Yes, but folks, this does this does come in a 12-ounce tall can, at least for one serving. So I don't want folks to confuse it with an energy drink. No, it's, it's not, not an... not an energy drink. So It's soda fighting with coffee. It's not bad. Um, I think it would probably give you a pick-me-up. Just be careful. Again, caffeine is not exactly a safe substance for most people. Just be careful, folks. Like I said, I would give this a three-star snob rating. What about yeah. you? A three, three and a half somewhere. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and finish this up. But uh, before we do, let's go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the review, folks, for the Coca-Cola with coffee for caramel, not vanilla. That was my mistake. Um, I hope you enjoy all of the other reviews. Wherever you enjoy the content from the Frugal Snobs, particularly on YouTube, please check out the Coca-Cola Energy Reviews if you haven't done so already for comparison. If you like what you hear, please do check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you need to know to catch the podcast is at frugalsnobs.com. If you'd like to also support us, you can go to support.frugalsnobs.com and uh, support us for as little as 99 cents a month. It's definitely worth it, people. We like to educate, entertain, etc. Until we speak again, folks, be well. Never pay retail. Take care of yourself and each other.